these tutorials, I want to go through some of the more popular or frequently used basic photo editing techniques for color corrections. So I'm going to go to File and Open. In Chapter 8, Folder Number 6, Color Enhance. And I'm going to start with this first photo, a photo that is way, way, way too red. Okay, first thing I always do, Command J, duplicate it. If there is an area that is way too red, I can go to my adjustments panel, second row, all the way to the left, hue and saturation, click on the target adjustment tool, the little hand pointer, target the reds in the skin and drag them slightly to the left just to take off that little sunburn right there. I slowly desaturated the amount of red in that photo. Then I'm going to come down onto layer one and I want to touch up some of the damage, the surface damage. There's a spot right there, a little spot right there, a couple of spots on the chin. So when you have a portrait like this and there's little spots of damage, you're going to take the fourth tool down on the right, you press and hold and you have literally a spot healing brush. I'll hold control and option, make this a little bit bigger. And again, it's like the medicine brush. I just click and drag and then the damage is gone. Click and drag, damage is gone. Click and drag. Now the only thing I would warn you about is you don't want to use the spot healing brush right against a physical edge of an object. Because what this is doing is as you paint these little blobs, it's finding the surrounding color and pulling it back into that blob. Okay, so if I paint right against the chin, it's going to find some of that darkness in the shirt and try to pull it back into the chin. So if I go like this, well, now he's got a lump and he's got some darkness on his chin. It doesn't work well. So I'll go to edit and undo. The only photo retouching tool that is used for physical edges is the fifth tool down, your original clone stamp. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just show you up above here first. This is what the clone stamp does. If I hold control and option, we'll make it a little bigger. Basically, you are picking up pixels from one area and repainting them in a different area. So if I option clicked the eyeball and then I come up here and paint, you can see I've picked up those pixels and painted them somewhere else, which looks really freaky. So I want to undo that. Edit, undo. Okay, so if I have damage right next to the chin right here, I'm going to go with my clone stamp. We'll make it a lot smaller. Option click the skin above, come down and paint a little bit below like that. And there we go, we got a nice clean touch up on this portrait. The only other thing I would look at is the direction of the sunlight. Okay, our light source was coming from the top and behind. So his entire face is kind of cast in shadow. Well, everybody looks at the eyes in a portrait. That's what gazes back at the viewer. So I wanna bring his eyes out just a little bit more, okay? What I can do is right above my type tool, I press and hold and I go to the dodge tool. Your dodge tool makes areas brighter. So just to show you this, I'm going to hold control and option, make it a little smaller. And you can see if I just scribble across his forehead there, you can see what the dodge tool is doing. It's making areas brighter. So obviously I'm going to go to edit and undo that. And I want the whites of his eyes to light up just a little bit. So I'm going to click and drag once in this corner, click and drag once in that corner, click and drag once. You don't want to go over it three or four times because then the brights of his eyes, they'll look so bright, they'll look fake. Like he swallowed a light bulb. His eyes will glow and that'll just really freak people out. So you just wave it over once. Okay, he's only got two teeth in this photo, so I might as well brighten those two teeth right there as well. And if you want eyes to sparkle, to kind of twinkle, 
take the little reflections and just dodge those out. One or two passes on each one of these reflections just to bring them out. Instead of being so dull and cast in shadow, we can bring those out like that. And there we've got a nice presentable photo. Here's before. Then I touched up the detail. And there's my adjustment layer. Okay, simple cleanups on a portrait like this. So save that as uh, two red, last name, first name, two red. Show me that you understand the adjustments panel. You understand your clone stamp on the chin. You understand your spot healing brush for little spot damages here and there. You know, if there's a telltale sign, just go over it again and again. That'll kind of clean it up for you. But really easy to do photo retouching here in Photoshop.